Here's essentially a normal subdeltoid bursa with peribursal fat around it. You can see how thin it is, and it just kind of laces over the rotator cuff musculature and the proximal humerus. Here is this patient subdeltoid bursitis. You can see how it's somewhat reddened and thickened as compared to the previous bursa we just saw. And again, you can appreciate the peribursal fat as well. Now we're removing the peribursal fat just so we can see the procedure a little bit easier as we're going to make the bursa transparent. And again, here's the needle going in and here's the injectate. You can see it going within the bursa itself. And now you're going to watch as the bursa gets a little bit spread out as the injection continues and it's pushing up against the deltoid muscle. And now we're just looking at the subdeltoid bursa in relation to the deltoid muscle, which is translucent here. And here again is this thickened bursa. And the subdeltoid bursa can spread quite a bit around over the rotator cuff and the proximal humerus. And again, here it is in relation to the deltoid muscle. And here you can see highlighted the tip of the needle within the subdeltoid bursa.